So what is going on guys, Nando Prince 93 here with another video, and this one's going to be a very quick one. So as you guys saw a couple days ago, Apple finally announced iPad OS. They announced the new iPhones, they announced that new cheap budget iPad, you know, they announced their services like Apple TV and Apple Arcade. And I just want to help you guys get prepared to update to iPad OS, right? So iPad OS, the official public release is going to be September 30th. I originally thought it was going to be September 19th, but I was wrong. So September 30th is the date of the official release. And there's just a couple things you guys need to make sure you do in order to update it. So just so you know, in terms of compa compatibility with both iOS 13 and iPad OS, iPad OS will work with every single pro model iPad. So even the first gen, it will work with iPad Air 2 and higher and then iPad mini 4 and higher. So it does cover a wide spectrum of the iPad ecosystem. So unless you have like the OG iPad, you should be good running iPad OS. And in terms of iOS 13, anything above a 6S plus, or a 6S, 6S Plus, and iPhone SE will run iOS 13. If you're on an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, you're you know out of luck, unfortunately. So the actual software itself should not be more than about half a gigabyte, so 500 megabytes, but it's recommended to leave two to four gigabytes of space because there's a lot of work that it does in the background. And, and if you only leave that half gigabyte of space, it'll either crash, slow down, it'll take forever to install, or it just won't let you update it. So make sure that you have at least two gigabytes of space of internal storage, if not more, to make make sure that you can install the software correctly. And once it is installed, you'll see that only about half, to, half a gigabyte of space was taken up. Also, if you guys really want to, back up your device. You shouldn't really have any issues if everything works smoothly. I tend to not back up my device because let's say something does happen, all I do is just re-download everything and sign into all my applications. The only thing that is backed up is my photos, just so whatever iOS device I'm on, I have all those photos. But that's up to you if you guys really wanna do that. All you do is you go to settings, iCloud, cloud storage, iCloud backup, and you can decide to back, back up now. Also keep in mind that you need at least 50% battery or to have your iPad plugged in in order to install it. So if you know, you're on the road or something and you have an LTE version and you're at 37%, iPad OS will not allow you to install it until you're back up to 50. So just a quick little side reference that you guys should know about. And then the last thing that you guys should should know is it is going to be released September 30th, but keep in mind that there's going to be millions of people signing onto Apple servers, millions of people trying to get the update. So if you don't get it right September 30th at midnight, don't freak out. Wait a couple hours. It could take up to a day for it to show up on your phone or your iPad or your device. And once it is installed, you know, or once it does come around, just install it. It's not a big deal. You might be a little late to the game, but it's okay. Like, I might be late to the game as well. There's nothing I can do about millions of people trying to access the same server farms all at the same time, trying to update to iPadOS. So, I mean, that's pretty much going to do for the video. Like I said, it's going to be very, very short. Just wanted to prepare everybody for what they needed to do and how they needed to pre-configure their device in order to update to the new systems. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, peace.